This patient requested that his voice not be used in this video. So I'm taking the opportunity to discuss in detail my approach to dealing with toenail fungus. This is a gentleman in his 40s who had developed this problem many years ago. He also has diabetes, so he's very concerned about the condition and is cautious about providing his own foot care because of his diabetic state. Diabetics are advised not to trim their own toenails or to shave their own corns and calluses because of their higher rates of developing poor circulation and neuropathy. This can lead to injury, infection, gangrene, and loss of the toe, part of the foot, or even the leg. This nail demonstrates what is called dystrophy. That's thickness, flakiness, and disfigurement of the nail due to long-term fungal infection. This can cause pressure from the shoes, pain, and discomfort as the person tries to go through the daily routine. As the months and years go by, the dystrophy worsens. As the toe bangs around inside the shoes day in and day out, micro trauma occurs to the nail and to the nail bed, causing the buildup of thickening skin, flakiness, and the disfigurement of the nail. As you can see, sometimes not all toenails are equally affected. This nail on the big toe doesn't look too bad. Most of the nail is pretty clear. What's being trimmed away now has a little buildup underneath it. A curette is used to remove the subungual debris. Subungual means under the nail. The debris is made of dead skin and fungal elements that build up over months and years, as well as due to the daily wear and tear of the toes inside of the shoes. I am using a blunt curette to remove the subungual debris. A blunt curette has no sharp edges, therefore there's no chance of injuring the underlying skin beneath the nail or around the cuticles or the other nail folds. A sharp curette is used in surgical situations where diseased tissue and tougher tissue or bone needs to be removed. Here you can see how thick and brittle the cuticle is on this second toe. Very easy to remove and dry and frail. I always caution my diabetic patients not to use tools like these at home on their feet. The risk of injury is too great and the costs are too high for a self-injury to occur at home that goes unnoted and untreated. I use the round bird to decrease the thickness of the toenail. It is also very good at removing the sunbungal debris as you can see here. The white streaks that you may see across the surface of the nail are also easily removed with the round bird.
The smaller oval shaped burr is used to finish cleaning the surface of the nails as well as getting underneath the nail folds and the cuticles and underneath the very edge of the end of the nail. I apply oil to each toenail. This can be nail oil or any other type of essential oil. A cotton swab is attached to the drill. It is used to remove any nail dust and remaining debris. It gives the nails a nice shiny appearance after buffing. Moving to the left foot, you can see the degree of change in the nail of this big toe. 
About 80% of the nail is involved in fungal infection. You can see the underside of this nail clipping showing the amount of debris. You can see the same dystrophic pattern in the left second toe as we saw in the right second toe. The second toe of this patient being the longest toe on each foot, it tends to take more of wear and tear inside of the shoes every day. So the fact that it has similar patterns on both feet is not surprising. All nail trimmings are collected and sent to the lab for analysis. The lab will look for the presence of fungus under the microscope. Thereafter, they will run DNA tests to identify the exact organisms causing the infection. This way, we will know the proper medication to prescribe for the patient. You will see these collected specimens near the end of the video.
Occasionally, the skin beneath the nail becomes thick and hard, just like a callus. So I use a scalpel to shave that down so that the patient will be much more comfortable and pain-free. A common question I get in the comments section of my videos is why not remove the entire nail? I do that on occasion if it's just one nail involved. Multiple nails requires multiple injections of anesthesia and is very uncomfortable for the patient. Plus, it does not speed up the time it takes to get rid of the toenail infection. And the big toe on a normal adult it may take four to six months to replace the nail. Whether you remove the nail to get rid of the nail infection or you use medication. So since the time is the same, there's no sense to make a patient go through an unnecessary surgical procedure when the medication will get the same result in the same amount of time. Diabetics such as this gentleman are at higher risk of developing foot problems, including toenail fungus. So if a diabetic is noticing changes in his or her toenails, including thickness, color changes, pain, discomfort, and difficulty trimming, they should seek the help of a podiatrist immediately.
Here are the three takeaways for this video. Number one, see a podiatrist. It is never too late to seek treatment. As soon as you see changes in your toenails, make an appointment. The longer you wait and as more nails become involved, the longer it will take and the harder the treatment will be to get rid of the infection. Number two, get the toenails tested for fungus. This way you can avoid any unnecessary medication or any unnecessary surgical procedures to get rid of a fungal infection that you may not have. Number three, diabetics should not trim their own toenails. With neuropathy and poor circulation possibly being present, a diabetic person could injure themselves and not know it, get an infection, and end up losing the toe, part of the foot, or even the leg. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up. To see very interesting cases and my approach and techniques to dealing with them and to learn how you can improve your foot health, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. Most importantly, take care of your feet.